there was a patient uh, presented to ANA with a road traffic accident. He has fracture with arterial injury, GCS is 15, hemodynamically stable, pulse could not be felt in the foot, uh, uh, and the abdomen is not peritonitic, and also has metacarpal fracture. Ultrasound scan showed free intraperitoneal fluid. Are you able to discuss with the trauma head for booking this patient on theater? Okay, so, uh, so should I start the call? Um, when you go, so basically, in the scenario, we'll have nine minutes in a preparation room, and okay. in the next room, just pick up the phone or a laptop and then speak. Whenever you're ready, speak, you'll find someone answering your call. Whenever you're ready. Yes, sir. So, uh, uh, hello. Yeah, hi there. How can I help? Uh, I'm Dr. Jagdeep, uh, working for Mr. X at uh, uh, NHS Hospital. And uh, I want to speak to Mr. Y uh, regarding a uh, trauma patient. Uh, so, uh, who a tra trauma patient for uh, booking an OT. So, could I check who, who am I speaking to? Yeah, hi there. I'm Abdullah here. I'm I'm the trauma head, um, and I, I'm the right person that you should be speaking to. So yeah, how can I help? You said you want to book someone uh, to theatre. Uh, Why? Uh, we have a polytrauma patient, sir, with uh, 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 vascular injury. Yeah, are you able to give me a little bit more details about the patient? Uh, so, uh, a patient is a 49 year old male uh, with a uh, history of road traffic accident he has uh, on uh, uh, he has open fracture of a open fracture open tibial fracture with uh, arterial injury and uh, clinically his uh, uh, abdomen is uh, uh, non peritone no signs of any peritonitis and patient is having uh, tachycardia tachypnea no yes, sorry uh, clinically, his pulses could not be felt in the uh, left foot, and his abdomen is not peritonitic. And uh, imaging showed uh, his ultrasound. Uh, imaging showed ultrasound imaging showed uh, uh, free fluid in the abdomen, and he's yeah. So, what would you like me to do? What should I do uh, now? We, we want... uh... Uh, we want to transfer the patient uh, uh, to you for uh, vascular to repair the vascular injury. You know, I'm not I'm not a vascular surgeon myself. I think you probably need to speak with the vascular team. Uh, I'm just you know the theater coordinator, so I just book the patient for theater. I do appreciate that the patient needs to be booked in for theater, which I'm very happy to do that. But you need a surgeon to do the surgery for him. Um, so you need to speak with the vascular surgeon. You need to speak with the orthopedic team. And also, the patient has free intraperitoneal fluid. I think, doctor, that's your job. You should be doing that. You should be booking the patient for all these reviews from the other team. Uh, I'll do that, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything else I can help with? Hello? Uh, no, sir. Sorry. I didn't read the question. Okay. And, well, um, you didn't give me the patient details as well. So what is the most urgent thing, uh, thing that you think is, is, is needed about this patient? Uh, the uh, arterial injury, sir. Pulse could not be felt in the left foot, in the foot. Okay. Open but do you, think that, do you think this limb is salvageable? Yes, sir, the limb is salvageable since the sensation is still intact. Okay. And does the patient have a C collar in place? Sorry, sir? Does the patient has a C collar in place? Uh, uh, yes, sir, I'll check. If it's not there, I'll make sure it's, uh, we'll put a uh, C, uh, cervical collar and uh, tape around the neck or stabilizing the neck. Okay. 
Yeah, fine. And uh, do you think the patient might be dehydrated? Did he lose any blood or something? Yes, the patient uh, is uh, not dehydrated, but uh, we have started fluids and uh, uh, crystalloids. We gave, we have arranged blood also. And if the patient, uh, now at present patient is hemodynamically stable, but if he deteriorates or, and we have sent blood also, uh, so if the hemoglobin comes low or uh, the patient uh, uh, deteriorates hemodynamically, then we'll give colloids also. Okay. Okay, fine. Um, yeah. And so what, what's your plan, doctor? Can you summarize your plan for me? Um, uh, I will talk, uh, I will uh, verify the cervical collar if it's present or not. If not, I'll uh, make sure it's there. Uh, and then I'll call the vascular surgeon and orthopedic surgeon uh, and anesthetist and uh, book, uh, book operation theater also. And then I will uh, I'll, uh, give him fluids, uh, crystallites and arrange blood for OT. Uh, okay, fine. Thank you. I'll book the patient for theater and we go on ahead and do that, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so you tell me what do you think of your performance? Uh, I didn't actually understand what, so why, why am I calling two trauma heads? Well, so so basically, that will be your task in the exam, okay? And um, um, basically, if you have a patient that needs urgent theater, you call the CPOT team um, to book a patient urgently on the theater list. So they will be aware, they get all the instruments ready, and they'll make sure the theater is ready to accept this patient. You will have sort of like 20, 30 minutes to get everything ready from your side and transfer the patient to theater. But you need to let the theater team to be aware of that. They will sort of arrange everything until you go ahead. So I think this is the right call and this is the right time. Okay. Mm -hmm. But um, the, the other thing is the, um, you know, the way I was talking to you, uh, they, it will be even worse in the exam. It would, they wouldn't be very nice over phone calls. All right. Uh, okay. They will be they'll be quite intimidating, so you need to be ready and have answer to yes. everything. Okay, yes, so I think your answer at the beginning was unsatisfactory, um, yes, and I would completely advise if you start work reworking in this, try to memorize all the details and be ready with everything. And there is something that is very important that we're going to go through now. So of course you're going to like. Uh, introduction start by introducing yourself and doing all these kind of things okay you're expected to do an s bar approach that's that's a, a crucial part which i think you haven't done well uh, i think you you need to reread that and do it in a better way so for example in the s bar approach what you do is the s bar is situation background assessment and and results or recommendation so what I do is, um, at the beginning, I will confirm who am I talking to. So I'll say, hello, sir, this is Abdullah here. I'm one of the doctors in a &E, and I'm calling you to book a patient with arterial injury uh, uh, on the C-pod or the operating list. So I sort of give the other side a quick idea of what's going on and what needs to happen for this patient. That's number one, all right? Number two is, I um, I will start by giving the patient details. I wouldn't just say, so this patient. No, it's not this patient. You need to say, Mr. X or Mr. Brown, uh, date of birth of this, hospital number of this. Presented today was a road traffic accident, was open tibial fibular fracture, was absent foot, foot pulses, were suspecting or injury. So this is the situation, as you can see. There are many other things. But that's the main situation that you're calling about. Okay, that's the main situation. That's the main reason you're calling this patient. Okay, background. We didn't find any associated injury in this patient. There is no background history of note. However, I'll check the note, gather more information, collateral history when I get a minute. That's in terms of background. In your assessment, is hemodynamically stable? With basically, in your assessment, you're saying, the A to E approach, all right? So it's hemodynamically stable, GCSS 15, open leg fracture, 
metacarpal fracture and absent lower limb pulses. Blood pressure results are not available for me. The abdomen is soft, non-tender, but the ultrasound shows free intrapreneal fluid, which I will need to check with the orthopedic team and also the general surgery team to have a review for the patient, but it shouldn't delay the patient going to theater. Okay, so okay. my recommendation is, I recommend one, book on this patient on the theater list. Two, I'll speak with the vascular team and the orthopedic and call team. Three, I'll speak with the general surgery team to uh, uh, review the ultrasound and have a look at the patient. Four, I'll go and re-review the patient, do a full A to E assessment, make sure that he has the needed, the needed bloods available and the x-rays and also ruling out any bleeding anywhere else. Make sure he has a cannula and is being resuscitated and not dehydrated and make sure that the spine is cleared as well. So look at that. That's your presentation. You didn't wait for, for me to ask you any questions. All right. That's yes, your presentation. Sir. You need to go and, you know, say all of it on one go to the examiner. All right. Yes. Good. Uh, and then I will start asking you what is the most urgent thing? Of course, you said it correctly that the patient has a C color. You do not know that the patient has a C color. You will say no. I don't know. I'll need to go and check. And if it doesn't have one, I'll put one in place. All right. If the patient dehydrated, you don't know if he's dehydrated or not. You will say, I have to examine the patient first and check. Uh, and if not, and also check the flow of the chart. And if not, I'll start the patient in fluid and the arrange part. What's your plan? Which we said it's uh, a little bit higher up. Does this make sense? Yes. 